so it's set that um, citizens can't activate it and the um, the thresholds are uh, 6k weight on the upper and lower threshold okay so the humans are here to trade and so this menu right here is um, for next time the traders come I can move up and down this list on the left the type with um, plus and minus and then on the right I can move up and down with um, up and down um, so if I wanted seeds if I wanted rye seeds for instance I'd move this over the priority with left and right the higher the um, the higher priority the more expensive it's gonna be the next time they come and they may not bring the items so it's like as an example here if I go to drinks turn rye beer rice beer um, all these beers right here if I turn the priority up of these to about a like a medium level like this they're gonna they may bring it they may not bring it and if they do bring it then the um, price of these items are gonna be a little bit higher than normal and that's it for all those items so the price is going to be 100%, but if I move down to um, the drinks, uh, here we go. So the price of um, the rye beer is going to be at 150% because I requested it. And then this menu right here, um, this is what they're going to buy from me. If I have those items and trade them, uh, battle axes for instance, if I have battle axes to trade, they're going to give me 186% of the normal price for the battle axe that I have to trade. Um, but I don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, but that's if you didn't know what that, that menu is about, that's what it's about. Marissa's going to harvest plants and... Um, okay, so I think I'm going to go to units and then L. And disable growing. So Urs is no longer a grower. And I think I want to, um, I just want him to clean this place up. <laughs> I just want him to get all this hauling done. This right here, um, yeah, I just need all this, um, I just need him to put away everything. And you know what, maybe I'll queue up some bins. Six bins or so. About six bins queued up, but uh, Urs went to sleep. Urs felt satisfied upon improving negotiation. Uh, felt, felt satisfied after condu conducting a meeting in a very good setting. Being unable to pray for the earthen for too long, okay. And let's take a look at his stress. So last time we read it, it was at negative 289. Read. Right now his stress is 50, which means it's um, he's now out of the red into the positive here. Excellent. Oh great, Nourist is making some bins now. Excellent. That'll help clean up the place. <laughs> I'll add in a bin on this cloth. Uh, Cloth stockpile. Um, v. Maybe like three bins. I'm just gonna make a wood stockpile right around the uh, carpentry, right that, and then um, G to give to the carpenter's workshop, and then I'm gonna set a um, wheelbarrow one so hopefully Urs grabs a wheelbarrow and then moves all the lumber in there I hope that'll increase the efficiency a little bit I think what I want to do is um, have Urs kill all of the scholars in the world that come to the fortress and then once I start doing that, then we'll see if I need to get a performer to like, uh, I may, I think I need to make another wheelbarrow. 
two more wheelbarrows. But um, once I, once Urus starts murdering all of these scholars, then maybe I'll bring a performer in just to keep his spirits up. <laughs> but if he doesn't need if he doesn't need that, then maybe I'll um, start eliminating the performers from the world as well. So all of his metal crafting tasks are back on now. And stone detailing as well. Excellent. So he just melted those um, axes, which gave me a little bit more metal. A little bit more steel and a little bit more silver. Silver bolts, excellent. And the traders are on their way. We didn't check this time to see if they had any books or not. Forge silver bolts, okay. I need ours to make his um, silver warhammer so we can uh, so we can get rid of uh, Abin and get my pulley book back. <laughs> Urs hasn't thought abstractly in a while. He's an abstract, he needs to abstract think. So this stockpile right here. Oh, max bins is eight, okay. So I'm really not sure what's going on with this. Um, I just removed this stockpile and I'm just gonna recreate a new finished goods stockpile. Um, that's gonna be just right here. And um, I didn't set anything special with it. Um, maybe I'll turn bins off and I'll just see what goes into that stockpile. So this is a figurine and I thought it was an artifact but maybe it's not an artifact quality. And we'll see if he moves it there or not. Urs is detailing, he's finishing up his office, which is great. I just need this, um, the rest of this cloth, so maybe P and then, um, H for cloth again, and we'll just put that right there. Another cloth stockpile, just so we can finish up moving this thread out of the way, and I don't have to wait for a bin. Oh great, so this is the last uh, piece of the office that, that's being uh, detailed. Excellent. Designations and then maybe X to remove this area here. Now he's finally praying to the earthen again. Earth is able to uh, meditate. <laughs> He's meditating on metals. Oh great, he's getting the wood for the wood stockpile now for the carpentry. Excellent. I hope that the, um, he, with the wheelbarrow, it allows him to move the wood inside the fortress a little faster. And after all that, he goes to sleep. <laughs> Felt wonder after communing with the earthen. And also worried after being unable to pray to the earthen for too long. Let's read his stress. Okay, so negative 307. So it's kind of like a, one of those ups and down bumps that he's got right now. So a little bit stressed, but not, uh, but still pretty much neutral. So right now all of or Urst's hauling is, um, enabled except for wood hauling. I just wanted to clean this place up. Um, get this cloth, um, this thread out of the way of this door right here and um, maybe he'll move this figurine, I'm not sure. But all of his hauling is on except for wood hauling right now and that's the only labor's on right now. So he's got plenty of drinks and everything. And we made those early warning 
um, statues and the dwarven landmine. Um, so hopefully we have a little bit of a warning if anything comes now. So we're, the hobbit hole is a little bit safer. <laughs> and now I just want to, since the drinks are made as well, I just want to focus on seeing about getting th this place cleaned up. Um, so maybe with this stockpile right here, um, I'll just turn on some bins. Maybe three bins in that stockpile. Oh, okay, he's getting that stuff right there. All right. Excellent. There's so much hauling in this game, and when only one dwarf is doing it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Oh, but he did move. Oh, excellent. He finally moved that piece of thread off of the door. That's been driving me nuts for a while. So I think maybe this stockpile here, I'll add some bins to as well. But I think I have to make them. Maybe three bins. Oh, he's moving the chains up there too. Okay. So we have another caravan here, but I think I'm gonna ignore them. <laughs> I'm gonna build a bridge right here. Races to the east. Rhyolite bridge. I'll build a lever as well. That way I can disable trade for a little bit because they're kind of, um, it's too much, too many traders are coming right now. We're going to disable, we're going to deny the, um, request there to be elevated. Okay, excellent. So Urs is making some bins, some carpentry and some other tasks, some other laborers are back on. So negative 631 stress right now, which is pretty good. And um, Earth is melting metal objects. Okay, those are the silver, um, those are the steel axes now. Excellent. Oh great, so he's making battle axes again. Excellent. I need him to make that war hammer. Add um, weapons and ammunition, silver. Warhammer, and then I'll just just check this uh, the settings of this stockpile here. Okay, so Warhammer should disabled there. Okay, so he's got a new job to make a Warhammer, and the Warhammer should disabled out of this melt stockpile there. So he should keep it this time. <laughs> Oh, excellent! He's building the bridge now. are going to be leaving soon which is great and um, just enabled um, just enabled mining for for Erst again so we can dig out this section here and then I'll build a lever like right here that'll be the trade lever for this um, bridge oh and excellent he's digging excellent he's digging the wrong way though <laughs> that's fine
that's fine. And it got really hot here, so I um, finally, finally shaved off my broom beard. Shift T for a trap, and then um, lever. And I'm just gonna put that lever right here. That'll be the trade lever. I think I gotta make some more mechanisms now as well. So I'll just queue up. Uh, I, I'm not sure why I don't have a workflow for this. I'll create one right now. Repeat, Alt W, add mechanisms of any rock, and then the range of this will be four to six. Uh, four to, we'll do four to 10, four to 10 mechanisms. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what I'll also do is a stockpile for rocks. Stone stockpile. Maybe right there. G to give to the mechanics. Great, so the traders are on the way out. gonna adjust the bins on this I had like 12 bins set um, maybe just two bins right here on this one because he keeps bringing all the bins over to that block stockpile and I think it's uh I think it's pretty good the way it is I don't think I, I don't have that many blocks I just made a couple And I'll link this now. Add um, B for bridge and minus enter. Enter, enter. Oh great, he's linking it already. Excellent. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go to this stockpile here and um, G to give to a stockpile and I'll, I'll have this stockpile give to this stockpile. Also, and give to this stockpile here, enter. This is all clothes and stuff in this stockpile. Clothes and like music instruments and stuff. This stockpile is all crafts and stuff, so it's gonna take from this stockpile as well. So this is gonna be pretty much everything that's left over that's not a craft or clothing. Let me just check the settings of this and see if musical instruments are on. Oh yeah, okay. Chains. Yeah, that's pretty much everything else. Where's just sleeping again? Let's take a look at his thoughts here. Blissful after sleeping in a bedroom like a personal palace. Lonely after being away from family for too long. Uh, satisfied at work. Blissful remembering dining in a very good dining room. Worried. Dwelling upon being able, unable to pray to the earthen for too long. Satisfied at work again. Pleasure after a satisfied acquisition. I don't think there's anything really new in here. He's just been kind of hauling. Interested watching a performance. Exhilarated remembering getting into an argument. Oh, satisfied upon improving machinery. That one right there is new. Excellent. Fondness after talking to a friend. Interested uh, watching a performance. Interested watching a performance times two. Blissful remembering sleeping in a good bedroom. Interested near a fine statue. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Um, negative 805. Okay. Everything's been pretty much positive in his thoughts, though. 
Uh, so it may have just been uh, some negative thoughts blipped into his mind there. <laughs> and this lever is um, linked, so I'm going to pull the lever here, and that's going to disable the trading. Once he pulls the lever there. Excellent. So the trade uh, trade room is uh, the trade depot is now sealed off from the rest of the map. So if I go to Shift D, um, there's no depot access. So these traders will stop bothering us. <laughs> and still a lot of uh, hauling going on. I want him to get these bins situated. And I want this, this uh, figurine out of the doorway. Um, maybe I can dump it. Oh, you know what? I have it selected here. And if I, I can't, I can't actually press D to dump it. Forbid, unforbid. Okay. I wonder if there's something going on with that item. Like a but, like some kind of bug with that item. I'm not sure. I'm hoping that um, now this stockpile is created to kind of accept anything. They'll eventually get to it to haul. But then there was also like a scroll over here. Um, yeah, the pulley without limits right here. This is also like an item that I can't, uh, I can't dump. I can forbid and unforbid it except for the, um, so normally the, the parentheses will, the brackets will be added if you forbid or unforbid it. So I'm not really sure what's going on with those two items. They may be bugged in some way because... They were a item that one of the scholars was carrying, and then we we killed the scholar for the item. Not really sure. Urs was able to uh, meditate there for a minute. And he's melting metal objects, which is great. Winter has arrived on the calendar. Excellent. Forging more steel battle axes, which is great. So his weapon smithing is going to go up. Forging more steel battle axes. So in the um, the magma forge here, I'm going to add in a uh, piece of furniture out of copper, and this is going to be copper bins. I'm just going to add in like five, yeah, six copper bins. Harvaris, make those. Great, he's eating. Let's see what he's eating here. So, Dwarven Wine Roast, if I go down to that and then press Enter, and then view. This is a Dwarven Wine Roast. Um, this is a well-prepared Dwarven Wine Roast. Ingredients are minced yak tallow, minced pig tallow, minced Dwarven Wine, and minced... Dwarven wine. So I don't know how you mince wine, but he did it. <laughs> so that's what he's been eating for a little bit there. Minced tallow with wine. Did he make his silver warhammer yet? Oh, he sure did. So military. And then... Um, Add Mers back into the military. So squads and then squad A. Move. Right there. Station. Okay, so he's going to pick up all his military equipment now. And station. Great. Squad A orders. So some somewhere along the line um, that um, Kill Abin was um, cleared as a military order. I'm not 100% sure when because like I left it for like a year or two. 
So last time Abin was here, we told Urus to kill him, and then he left the map. Um, but like that military order didn't clear out of his um, out of the squad orders. But now it seems to have been cleared. So I'll go to military, and let's just take a look at his uniform. E for equipment. Okay. Okay, he's got the copper battle axe, metal shield, and bunker. Okay. Military. You. Okay, military in. So I just created this um, uniform here. I named it Urist, and it's just metal armor, but then instead of like a shield or a buckler, it's a shield, and um, instead of individually choice melee, it's Warhammer. So I'll go to military, E for equipment, and then shift U to assign a uniform, and then shift enter on Urist, the uniform Urist, <laughs> and now he'll, um, his military uniform is now different, so. Squad A, move. Enter. Great, so he's picking up all of his equipment. And he's stationed. Squad A, orders. Oh, okay, so he's taking all of his uniform off. Why is that? Let's see. Military, so the um, the tin intensity is squad one. So military and then schedules. Um, in inactive here, the tin intensity is set to sleep in room at will and uniform status is uniformed. Okay. So I'm not sure why he's taking off his uniform. Active training here. I want to cancel all the orders here. So I'm canceling all the orders for this one. So he has no set order now. Sleep in room at will. Yeah, okay. So military alerts and then active training. So there's no set uniform for that. I mean, there's no um, set order for that. Training has the set order to train, but maybe that's why he wasn't in uh, military alert. That's the civilian alert. There we go. So the civilian alert, when I press enter here, it doesn't actually make a difference. There's no burrow set yet. Um, okay. Squad A's alert now is, mil is active training. I hope that makes sense. I made a video on um, military training. And um, if you're having any issues with the military um, setup, you should watch my military setup video, and it'll set you straight. But what I'll do is um, lock this door right here. Not pet passable. We'll pull this lever now. Great, so Abin is no longer trapped in the um, in the bottom there. Squad A, kill. L for a list. And we'll just look for Abin in this list here. Okay, so F, lowercase f. Enter. So Earth's new order is to kill Abin. And let's just see if he picked up his uh, inventory. Okay, he's got the left and right gauntlet. He's got the greaves. He's got the breastplate. He's got the shield. He's got the copper helmet. Doesn't seem to have a steel. Um, 
He doesn't seem to have his silver warhammer. So I'm not seeing a silver warhammer here. So maybe squad A O for orders and we'll just wait on that. Z for status and then we'll go to stocks. E for enhanced view and I believe that the enhanced view here is built into um, DF hack as well. Just Warhammer. Oh, Copper Warhammer right here. But it's forbidden. So he doesn't actually have the um, Silver Warhammer. He's got to make it. I thought I told him to. Add Weapons and Armor. Silver Warhammer. Let's add a couple of those. Great, so he's moving the, um, the copper bin as well. Excellent. Content after putting on a finely crafted item. Content after putting on a superior item. Worried after being unable to pray. Interested near his own fine statue. Pleasure after putting on an exceptional item. Okay. Excellent. Oh, he's going to dig now. Okay, so units L and then disabled mining. So, okay, great. Store item in bin. Excellent. Okay, just need him to, uh, just need him to, uh, forge that silver warhammer, but, uh,. <laughs> Are we out of silver, perhaps? Um, oh, it cleared it. Weapons and ammunition. Silver Warhammer. Alt W. There's no workflow for it. Okay. So I'll ask him to make uh, I'll queue up a steel warhammer as well. Oh, I think he's going to get his pick right now. Yeah, okay. So we left some clothes down there. Drinking, excellent. So I haven't, I queued up a, um, let's see now if it's disappeared. Yeah, I'm not really sure why those are, those are clearing out like that. Um, stocks, enhanced view, silver, silver bars are forbidden. Okay, so I'm out of silver bars. Steel. Oh, it looks like I'm out of steel bars as well. Okay. So he's got to make the... Um, Let's see, he's got to melt these steel battle axes before I can get more... Before I can get more silver there. Or, or um... Okay. So I see what's going on now. He's got to make more... He's got to melt the current um, steel battle axes to get more steel in order to make the, the other steel battle axes. Um, to make the, like if I queue up a, a steel warhammer or something in here, he's not going to make it because I don't have steel. So it's clearing out the task. 
It's also clearing out the silver warhammer task because I don't have silver. What is this right here? Um, Galena. So I'm going to add in um, Smelt Galena. Repeat. Okay, Urs keeps going down there. So I'll lock this door. Okay. Okay, so like right now he's, um, right now Urs is locked in, still locked in the Hobbit hole. Um, this door here is locked as well as this door. And he's got a, he's got all the food and drink that he needs. Making silver bolts right now so we can continue to hunt later. And, um, a lot of holing going on. He's able to meditate there and pray to the earthen, which is great. There's just so much holing going on. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Uh, I gotta remove him from the military. Okay. So I had him, uh, I had to remove him from the military and also disable mining. So he was, I, I forgot that, I forgot about it. <laughs> I completely forgot. He was in the military and mining, and he kept on putting the pick, picking the pick up and putting it back. And I completely forgot that that happens. So, um, so some of his mining, uh, some of his item hauling was pretty inefficient because of that, because he kept on picking up the pick and putting it back. And now that's disabled, and now he should finally get everything done that he needs to get done. He's just got to move those axes. That's not all he has to do, but one of the things he has to do is move the axes from the weapon stockpile into the from the from the weapon workshop and put it into the weapon stockpile. Just gonna move those axes so we can melt them again. And now that I got these bins, now that I got these bins everywhere, um. You know, there's a little bit of extra hauling because he's moving the stuff like from the stockpile into the bin. He's moving his clothes around, storing owned items. And Urs is sleeping again. And it looks like I've almost almost played a year in this one episode. <laughs> Lonely after being away from friends. Lonely after being away from family for too long. Okay, restless dwelling upon seeing Odom boot righteous' his dead body. Um, uneasy dwelling upon seeing Maldath's granite hoist die. Uh, worried dwelling upon being unable to pray to the earthen for too long. So a lot of positive, but also negative in this as well. Let's take a look at his stress level. So right now it's negative 1k stress, read. Um, negative 1.3k. So it seems that, um, seems that the stress it may be ticking back up a little bit slowly. Uh, but now he just meditated. I think once he starts, um, once he starts doing some crafts again, once he starts doing some crafts again, he should get some positivity. So he hasn't really gained skills in a while. He didn't really gain any, he didn't really skill up in anything in a while because of the, because of all the item hauling. <laughs> yeah, so I turned on um, stone detailing and stone crafting. It looks like he's dumping more bee remains as well. So I turned on stone detailing and stone crafting again, so that way he does things other than just hauling because I think that that's becoming a problem where he's not um, he's not gaining skill in anything so his maybe his um, 
He's not having as much positivity. But it's now the year 59, and I'm completely out of time. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos. I'm just gonna save the game.